So we are looking in 8.4, we're looking at trans, something called translational equilibrium. Okay, when an object um, whose motion or state is not changing, this is said to be an equilibrium. Okay, translational equilibrium is when an, ex when an object is either at rest or moving at a constant velocity. Okay, at rest or a constant velocity. So whenever an object is at rest or moving at a constant velocity, what's, what's happening with the forces? The vector sum of all the forces acting on the object is zero. Okay, so if you, if you have a book on a table, it's at rest, then all the forces, contact forces, gravitational forces, if you add them up vectorially, then they would equal zero, which means if you have no net force, no resultant force, then there's no acceleration of that object. And so it is either at rest or moving at a constant velocity. Even if, if an object is moving at a constant velocity, um, that means that all the forces acting on that object are balanced. They are the, if you add them up vectorially, they equal zero. Okay. Um, so these pictures show that forces can have different effects on an object. It can either accelerate the object, if, the, if there's a resultant force, it can rotate an object and it can deform an object. Deformation, we looked at in chapter 7, okay? And rotation, rotation is looked at later on in chapter 11. And in this chapter, we look at the acceleration, okay, of an object. Okay, so now let's look at an example here. Uh, in figure 8.4, let's find it. Okay, we have a book on a table. Okay. Um, are the contact force exerted by the table on the book, the table on the book, table on the book, and the gravitational force exerted by the earth on the book, earth on the book, table on the book, earth on the book, are these an interaction pair? Are these an interaction pair? Well, no. Because an interaction pair is when two, obje when two objects interact, the one object exerts a force on the other, and the other exerts an equal and opposite force on that other one. Okay? So an interaction pair would be the book exerting a force on the table and the table exerting a force on the book. But in this case, we are having the table exerting a force on the book and the earth exerting a force on the book. So this is not an interaction pair. Um, okay, I hope that's clear. So take a look at this. Um, make sure you understand uh, what is an interaction pair. Okay, so we looked at uh, translational equilibrium in this section. Okay, see you in the next one.